Uh, let's see. Fred posted uh, from the day. Oh, my question before about the One World Church. I didn't know what that was. That was something Lance Wall now referred to. So Fred posted this. Uh, the One World Church is the great horror, quote unquote. The scarlet woman riding on the beast of Revelation 17. This harlot represents this religious system that lies with the world dictator, the Antichrist. This religious system will dominate the world before the return of Jesus Christ. Witchcraft in the church is preparing the way for this religious system. We see this happening right now. My goodness, I have to tell you, my friends, when I was a kid, I I was raised Catholic, and I used to have to go to church on Sundays. I found church to be really dull, really boring, and I was always happy when it was over, and and I knew I didn't have to go back for another week. Matter of fact... And I've told this little anecdote on the show before, but I remember my friend Billy Zappia, who also had to go to church. I said to him, you know, my, my childhood friend, I said to him one, uh, one week, I said, you know, as much as I don't like going when we have to go afterward, when, after we leave, I actually feel really good and really positive. And he said, yeah, dummy, cause you're glad it's over for another week. And I was like, oh yeah, you're right. Now, Having said that uh, about how boring I found church uh, when I was a kid, this One World Church sounds kind of awesome. I mean, I'm not going to lie. It sounds very, very exciting. They got all kinds of things going on there. I mean, you know, like, 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 like I said, I was raised Catholic. I'd go to church on Sunday, and there was a lot of uh, sort of aerobics going on. You know, you had to sit, you had to kneel, you had to stand, you had to kneel, you had to sit, you had to shake hands with people, you had to go get the wafer and drink the wine. I never drank the wine. I'm very paranoid about hepatitis uh, you know and then you sit and you kneel and you stand and you kneel and you sit and you pretend you have to go use the restroom to kill five minutes and you come back and you sit and kneel and stand right so not very exciting just a lot of moving around but this one world church oh my goodness it's got uh it's got the great whore it's got she's riding a horse it's got uh uh this antichrist dude who's uh probably not someone you want to mess with but at the same time probably a lot of fun to party with so i don't know i'm kind of interested in this one world church thing i, I want to know more i mean i don't know if this is something do you have to go online and, and join is there a membership fee i mean how does this work i don't think we have any i mean we have a lot of churches here like if you ever look at it like here in manchester if you ever look at an aerial shot of the city you'll see a lot of steeples now uh, maybe one of those steeples is this one world church I, I mean i might start going this is pretty exciting uh oddly enough new hampshire last i knew i don't know if this statistic is still accurate but uh, New Hampshire historically has been the least church-going state uh, in the entire country. So in that regard, we seem to be the most secular. But uh, I'll tell you what, if this One World Church thing starts to spread, I think this would be a great way to get people involved, get people excited about church again. It, I mean, it sounds like an action movie, but it's church. It's uh, This is wild stuff. Let's see. Oh, there's more here. Fred says... And there came one of the seven angels, which had the seven vials, and talked with me, saying unto me, Come hither, I will show unto thee the judgment of the great whore, with, uh, sitteth, that sitteth upon many waters. Wow, there's even, uh, it sounds like you even get to go on a boat with the great whore. I mean, this is, this is great. Uh, let's see, with whom the kings of the earth have committed fornication, and the inhabitants of the earth have been made drunk with the wine of her fornication. Revelation 17, 1, 2. I got to, uh, uh, wow, that's, that sounds fantastic. Uh, let's see. Um, Fred also said, gee, the great whore, Trump is going to be so very at home. Oh, is Trump already like a part of this church? That's exciting. Um, uh, let's see. And then Fred posted a link to something here. Oh, maybe it's a, fa- oh, well, whatever that link is to Fred, it doesn't, doesn't do anything when I click it. So I don't know what that is. I was hoping maybe it was, um, maybe it was for the one world church. I click it and, and, you know, it's a page like their Facebook page and then I could like the page and then, you know, maybe get more information about it later. Uh, Fred says, I bet the coach of the Patriots knows where the church is. <laughs> oh my goodness. Well, there you go. So, that's all very exciting. Thank you, Fred. I'm thinking about, uh, I, I might, uh, look into that. Um, you know, and I mean, I, you probably have to wear black. Uh, it sounds like something you would have to. And I have a lot of dark clothing. I could do that. I like that. I mean, you know, I used to play in metal bands. 
Uh, so it sounds like I would be, I would fit right in, right? Especially with this whole Antichrist dude. I mean, uh, I used to play in a band called Broken Hell. I mean, we, you know, and we, we had hell right in our name. I mean, it's, it's perfect. 